action. Okay, see if you can follow this. Uncharted the movie is based on Uncharted the video game series, which in turn is based on a movie that inspired the director of Uncharted to make movies based on video games in the first place. Confused? Don't worry, you're not the only one. But thankfully, all you really need to know about Uncharted is Tom Holland is in it. Oh, this is gonna suck! <laughs> now, you might recognise the British actor from such billion dollar box office hits as Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and his most recent and biggest hit yet, Spider-Man No Way Home. What was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> In fact, Holland has been so successful as Peter Parker, future sequels could include Spider-Man, Sweet Home Alabama, and it'd still be a hit. Uncharted sees our friendly neighbourhood web-slinger playing an orphan named Nate, who falls into a life of petty crime after the mysterious disappearance of his older brother when the two were wee lads in a flashback at the start of the film. Life comes at you fast when you're an orphan in an action-adventure movie, and Nate soon finds himself hanging out with Victor Sully Sullivan, a professional treasure hunter played by Mark Wahlberg. Hey, put him down, boys. <laughs> what is that thing on your face? Yeah, puberty's right around the corner, kid. You can grow your own. Sully, you see, has his eye on the treasure of Ferdinand Magellan, as you do, and he's convinced Nate's long-lost bro has left a clue that can help find it. It's just a story. I beg to differ. Standing in the way, however, is Santiago Moncada, a ruthless and very rich Spanish bloke played to perfection by Antonio Banderas, who is desperately seeking the same treasure to restore pride in his family's name. How are they going to get them out of here? The game franchise the movie is adapted from has sold more than 41 million units, putting it in the top 100 most successful video game series of all time. Gamers love the series for its realistic graphics and rich storytelling, which both owe a lot to classic flicks like Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Here's a fun fact. Uncharted director Ruben Fleischer wanted to be like Indy so much, he decided to study archaeology in college. Presumably, he switched to filmmaking when he realised real-life archaeologists rarely get chased by boulders or whip shit. <laughs> Now, all he's whipping is the proverbial dead horse trying to turn a mountain of kinda silly game mythology into a coherent plot. And that's the ultimate irony here. Uncharted would have been far better if, like the games, Fleischer had been allowed to lean into the Indiana Jones vibes instead of aiming for Fast and the Furious only with historical references. That said, there are much worse ways to spend two hours than watching Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg as buddies. Seriously, can we get a director's cut where it's just the two of them hanging out for a few hours? I'd just like to watch them. Don't make it weird. Well, until that happens, Uncharted gets two stars. Uh -oh.